Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a makeup tutorial. Um, this is the look that I wore in my my last couple of swatch videos, like the Huda Beauty um, Demi Mattes and the Power Matte Bullet lipsticks. If you guys wanted to see a tutorial on, the, on that makeup look, um, I did my best to recreate it and it was a mission. It was a mission to undo liner and lashes with um, a lash lift because my lashes are really curly right now. But yeah, hopefully you guys still enjoyed the look. I tried to replicate it as closely as possible. Like I use the same shadows, but you know, things always come out different. And by the way, I am filming a first impression review video on the foundation that I'm wearing. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation, so if you guys want to watch that. I don't know if this video will be up first or that one, but I'll check it in the description box slash at the end of this video if you guys want to check it out. Without further ado, if you guys want to know how you can get this look, then keep watching. If you're wondering why my foundation doesn't really match, I'm filming a foundation review on this foundation. By the way, it is the L'Oreal 24 Hour L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour matte foundation in the shade 24 golden beige so we're gonna make this work I mean it's not that bad I color correct it around, around my mouth I'll do like some bronzer and some blush just to kind of help this look it's gonna be very distracting so I'm gonna go in with my NYX matte bronzer in the shade medium man this thing is like has been with me for a while and I just like it when I really when I want to look really warm it is, it, is a little, it is a really warm bronzer so we're just gonna apply some of that on we're just using this to yeah like, add some color back in um warm up my face a little bit because like I said that foundation is a little bit light that's looking alright for now then we'll move over to blush oh man I'm gonna use an old smashbox blush any eye primer will do. I'm using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I've also, I've also applied my Revitalash Cosmetics Aqua Blur on my eyelids and around my eyes um, because it is a eye gel and a primer. So you guys wanted to know about that makeup look that I filmed, right? The sad thing is, is that the shadows come from a palette, like an old Anastasia palette. And I had a look. I use Soft Peach, Morocco, and Fudge. I had a look on the website. She no longer has Morocco as a single shadow. I don't know if she ever did. But Soft peach and fudge I believe are available. She doesn't have that one and this is like one of my favorite shades. It's super warm. This was in the um, shadow couture palette, the world traveler palette. If I could I would happily just buy this one shadow. So if you guys know a dupe for it let me know because I would like to be using things that aren't like limited edition or no longer available because otherwise you guys can't get them. What I did was I grabbed the shade Morocco. This is like my go-to eyeshadow look when I'm filming swatch videos or I just need something that is quite neutral. Went in with Morocco and I literally just used this three shades so I'll just put that in my crease and I just keep building it up like it's really simple and this is a Morphe E27 brush. I believe it's part of the Elite collection. I bought it years ago and it's still amazing. Then I go in with the shade Fudge and I just swapped over to a Real Techniques base shadow brush. Any brush would work. It's just this is the one that I'm using. I'm just gonna go back and even out my eyeshadow to this eye because I've seemed to forgot forget that I have two eyeballs here. So we'll put a hold on the fudge shade until we've caught up this eye. So then I'm gonna switch back to the shade fudge put it on the outside edge. I'm gonna drop some underneath my eye a little bit as well, just like on the outer edge of my eye. I didn't think this through because I've got my lash lift done and I can't really do eyeliner. Uh oh. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. I just want to be at the gym. Like I feel so like, oh my god, I have so much stuff to do. That I just want to be at the gym. And then we're gonna go in with a lot of soft peach. So you could just use your finger if you want. And I'm just gonna apply that onto my eyelid. Yeah, you can just literally apply it with your finger. And then we'll end up blending it out soon anyway. I've totally done everything backwards. Like I looked at myself and I was like, why is my face so dark? Do you know why it's so dark? It's because one, I have no concealer on. Two, I didn't even set my makeup. I'm just like in a rush to get things done. And I need to chill. I need to chill. Okay, so I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium 345 Medium Sand. We're just going to take a minute and do this. This is 345 medium sand. I don't know what I'm up to. So I've already done my blush and I should have done this after my eyes, but did I realize? No. That looks alright. Fenty's banana powder. 
used to kind of sit underneath my eyes. This is the most backwards tutorial ever. I'm like jumping between things. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming oh, it looks a... pretty much the same. It's just I had more of the soft peach on and it wasn't as dark as this. So we're just gonna layer and add some more of that over. So we're gonna go in with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm just gonna try my best to do this. This is the only downside about um, getting lash lifts. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh man, and I'm short sighted in this eye. I know you guys are like, um, I can't see anything. Well, you know what? Neither can I. <laughs> Not a fan of my face, but we're just gonna keep going. I don't even like my eyeliner. Like, it's just. I'm gonna do my eyelashes. For my mascara, I'm using the Revitalash Double Ended Volumizing Mascara and Primer. So one side is blue, which is the primer, and then the other side is black. So I'm just gonna apply that. Make my lashes really big. But they're not all gonna work out. Then I've swapped over to the mascara. Let me try to glue this on. Like, it's gonna be a mission. I can already tell I'm struggling. Because my lashes are too big. Like my natural ones. Then I'm going to go in with some black eyeshadow and just cover the lash band so it's not so noticeable. Any black will do. Next up, let's do my brows. I'm going to be using the Colourpop Brow Pencil in the shade Black and Brown. This is just like a one that's really easy to use and it's a good match for me, I feel. Let's do our, um, throw on some highlighter because I don't think I have any on. So I'm going to grab the Bicca Cosmetics highlighter and Champagne Pop. I just add some highlighter. I'll add a tiny bit to my brow bone because we don't really add any, um, a matte shade on. Down the bridge of my nose. I don't usually highlight my, the end of my nose because I just don't like drawing attention to that. But I don't like that shiny little, like, beam of light. You know what, I need to pick a different lip liner, even though I'm going to be so... Nah, I'm going to be real upset if I don't at least get this right. Hold on. Hopefully, I can at least get my lip color right because I would be so upset. And get the Maxwell lip liner. Now the lip color I'm going to use is Huda Beauty Staycation. This is the Power Matte, Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. So we can go in with some bronzer. Just add some highlighter in my inner corner and then we're done. That's the finished look. You guys saw the video. Things took a turn. I think I just shouldn't be filming today. Like it's just everything is kind of not working out. Maybe I'm burnt out. Maybe I just need a break. I think I should probably just go to the gym. Take my mind off things. It's raining. It's about 5.36. That's how it turned out. I feel like it's slightly different than my lip swatch video. Like it's probably a little bit more warm. I'll just chuck some more of that soft peach shade on just to like make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Cause once it covers like the full eye, pretty much like my eyelid, then it just kind of emphasizes my eye shape. Like the more, like the brighter bit makes it look bigger. So that's the finished look. Slightly different, but hopefully you guys still like the makeup look. Oh my gosh, such a mission. Like mainly like the eyelashes and the eyeliner just because I have a lash lift and they are really curly. So it's really difficult to apply any um, eye products near my eyelashes. So yeah, that's about it. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests, then leave them down in the comments. I'm still doing the replying to all the comments in the first hour of videos going live. I feel like you guys are catching on to that, so you're more active during the first hour. Um, and I try to premiere my videos too, because that's like another way that we can just chat in the little live, the live chat area. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave any requests in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone! <laughs> Look at the back of my head. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. But you guys were like, you want to see it? And I was like, dang it. <sighs> I need to chill. I need to chill.
<laughs> if it doesn't go to plan, I might end up having a cry and running to the gym. Dang it. Cute. I want to go to the gym. I feel like I'm just not doing great at this YouTube thing right now. <laughs> 